Dividing by 10, a lot like multiplying by 10, creates a pattern with numbers. So let's dig in and look at dividing by 10. Look at what happens when we divide by 10 and see if we can figure out that pattern. And maybe even how it relates to the pattern for multiplying by 10. Let's take a, a fairly simple one to start. Let's say something like 30 divided by 10. One way to think about this is we're taking the number 30 and we're dividing it into groups of 10. So let's see how many groups of 10 it takes to make 30. One group of 10 is 10, so that's not enough. Plus a second group is 20. Plus a third group is 30. So 30 can be thought of as 10 plus 10 plus 10, or three groups of 10. So if we divide 30 by 10, divide 30 into groups of 10, we end up with three groups. Let's try another one. Maybe something slightly trickier. Maybe let's go with 110 divided by 10. And again, we're dividing, we're taking 110 and dividing it into groups of 10. So let's see how many groups of 10 it takes to get to 110. There's 110 plus another is 20, 30, 40, 50. Another 10 gets us to 60, 70, 80. We're getting closer. 90, 100, and 110. So this right here is how many groups of 10 it takes us to get to 110. So let's see how many groups is that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Our solution is 11. If we have 110 and we divide it into groups of 10, we end up with 11 groups. Well, let's look at these first two. Let's pause here and see if we see a pattern. 30 divided by 10 was 3, 110 divided by 10 was 11. So what happened? What happened to the 30 and the 110 to get these quotients? And what happened is the 0, the 0 on the end, was taken off. Our solution is the same, but with the 0 taken off the end. Here again, the solution is the same with a 0 taken off the end. And if we remember from multiplication, it was the opposite. If we had 2 times 10 instead of dividing times 10, our solution was 20. Or a 2, our original number, with a 0 added to the end. Remembering another one, something like 13 times 10. Our product, our solution, is a 13, the original number, with a 0 added to the end. So in multiplication, when we multiply by 10, we add a 0 to our whole number at the end. And when we divide, when we do the opposite by 10, we take off a 0 from the end of our whole number. So knowing that pattern, let's try one more, maybe one where we don't work out all the 10s but just try to use the pattern to solve it. If we had something like, say, 7,000 divided by 10, well, our solution is going to be 7,000, but with a 0 taken off of the end because we're dividing by 10. So instead of 7,000, we would have 700. 7,000 divided into groups of 10 would be 700 groups of 10. So our solution is 700. Let's take this all a step further and let's think about what dividing by 10 is doing to these numbers, to 30, to 110, to 7,000, in terms of their place value. So here's a place value chart. Let's use it to look at one of the numbers we already tried, something like 30. And when we divided 30 by 10, remember what happened to the 3. Instead of being 3 tens, our solution was 3 ones. The 3 moved one place value to the right. And the 0 really did too. It would move after a decimal. 
which would be 3.0, which is the same as 3, which is the reason we didn't need to write that 0, the reason that we could cross it off. So our number, instead of being 3 tens when we divided by 10, became 3 ones. Let's look at a little bit trickier of 1. We also tried 7,000, so that would be 7,000s, 0, 100s, 0, 10s, and 0, 1s. And when we divided by 10, our 7 in our thousands place became 700s. And the 0, 100s became 0, 10s, and 0, 10s became 0, 1s. And that last 0, we were able to cross off and moved after the decimal. So 7,000 divided by 10 was 700. Again, everything moved one place value to the right. So there's two ways to think about dividing by 10. We could either say you drop a zero off the end, or we could say that you move every digit one place value to the right. Let's think about it again in terms of place value with a new number. Let's try something like uh, 630. If we divide 630 by 10, we're going to move everything one place value to the right. So the 600s will become 610s. 610, three tens will become three ones. And the zero ones will move after the decimal. So we can say that 630 divided by 10 is equal to 63, or 6 tens and 3 ones. So again, two ways to think about dividing by 10. Either we can cross off a zero, or we move every digit, each digit, one place value to the right.